We just saw Max, and on this show, I take my friends, we go see a movie, we review it in the car, and then we have a discussion. The review part is spoiler-free, so if you're watching this video and you're on the fence or looking for a movie to watch, looking for a recommendation, you can watch this. We'll find out what we thought without getting spoilers. And if you'd like to hear the whole thing um, with spoilers, if you've already seen the movie or just want to know everything, uh, look for the video called Max Video Discussion with Spoilers, or Movie Discussion with Spoilers. So, Max is the story of a dog with PTSD, I guess is a quick way to say it, that ends up living with the family of um, his handler. His handler is killed early in the movie, and he's not useful to the military anymore because he's he freaks out at the sounds of gunfire, and he only will really um, respond to his handler's brother. Um, everybody else, he's just out of control with. Um, the movie is... It's, it's okay. It's, like, it's better than I expected it to be. Um, they don't focus as much as I expected them to on sort of the bonding between the brother and the dog. It's more of a focus on this, like, crime story that ties into what was going on um, in Afghanistan when the handler was hurt or when the handler was killed and when Max was injured or whatever. And so that ends up taking up the rest of the movie. Um, people brought really little kids to this movie and I don't, I don't know about that. Um, it's pretty violent. There's a lot of military stuff going on and people pulling guns and that kind of thing. But I guess on the other side of things, I do live in America. And so violence isn't that big of a deal to us. Um, but I mean, all in all, I enjoyed the movie. It was a lot, there was a lot more going on than I expected there to be. Um, there's also just like a series of really bad decisions that the kid makes in the movie, um, that turn out right in the end because it's a movie, but aren't really things that you necessarily want to like, um, encourage people to do. But, yeah, I mean, overall, I thought it was fine. Um, you know, if you like dogs, if you like um, sort of military crime dramas with kids, maybe this is the movie for you. Um, no, I, I enjoyed it just fine. Um, it was It was a lot darker than I expected it to be. Not that it was like... Sin City with dogs, but it was like, <laughs> which would be amazing. By the way, <laughs> it was like, uh, I don't know, it like, almost like uh, the second half of American Sniper with dogs. It's kind of where I would, I would put it. So, what'd you think? This is everything Scooby Doo should have been. <laughs> uh, it. It's, it's very much a movie that's confused, I felt. Uh, like, it starts off with this military story, and then you've got PTSD, and you think it's going to go that route, and then they throw this crime story in, which is hinted at at the beginning, but mm -hmm. then they go full bore into it at the end, and and the the... The, I, the bonding between the dog and the and the brother becomes kind of an afterthought. Uh, the brother just happens to be the uh, the human component of the dog. Right. <clears throat> and it was good. It, it was really good, but I, I felt that everything about the movie was kind of misleading. It's strange. Yeah. When, when I read about the movie, it was like it was about a dog that his owner died and there's PTSD nothing about uh, you know this happy go lucky bond with the brother story and then the trailer is this happy go lucky bond with this kid story mm -hmm. and has none of the dark elements so it's it's very misleading yeah when you're looking I, th into I mean it. I think it's really geared towards more towards teenagers like people that are the age that the kid in the movie is yeah um more than it's 
necessarily a family movie. And I think as far as that goes, like he gets it right because it gives them a lot of agency and puts them in charge of a lot of things. But it it is a weird thing where you kind of go in expecting, you know, a fun family dog movie or a somewhat sad, hap, you know, family dog movie. Yeah. And it's this crime drama that has a dog in it. It was a little, a little bit more... It's very formulaic in its story. Oh yeah, uh, it's oh yeah, it's your it's your typical dog movie. But, but that's not bad. Not, not, I mean, it's like your typical crime movie. Like <laughs> if you replace the dog with Bruce Willis, you have a a perfectly sound movie. I think I think they made that movie. <laughs> I'm it, it sure was they the last made that Boy movie. Scout. I think. But, yeah. Um, it was good. It was good. A uh, very good cast, mm. actually. Um, a little Hardy Boys for me, but mm-hmm. but good. Yeah. yeah. Anytime you throw a dog in a movie, a guy's gonna go watch it. Well, yeah, yeah. it's gonna get hokey too. Like that's yeah. just always gonna happen. But yeah, it was fine. Um, so if you like the way we do these, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfield.com, and thanks for watching.